Good evening everyone. This is Henry Gamble with SimplerOptions.com and in today's free video I just kinda felt the need to stick with the theme of these upgrades and downgrades that we've seen so much this week and I don't know that I've seen one of them that has actually held. Now there's a few exceptions like I think Netflix was downgraded but it was it was a radical price and, and it didn't really move much off of the shares but the point that I want to make with you or the, the opportunity that you want to look for are situations like this. So in Triple D, we have a big gap up today. The stock ended up closing only up 10% on the day, but it was up as much as 16, 17% at the beginning of the session. Just like we've done previously this week, we can come over and check out the news. And as this was coming out this morning, you see right here, first thing today, <clears throat> 3D system soars after a Bank of America upgrade. It is my humble opinion that these types of institutions do not have your best interest at heart. So anytime something like this comes out, you should not be buying it off of this type of a move. You should be thinking counterintuitively and instead saying, okay, they're getting ready to sell their position to me. Is this something where I can actually take the opposing side of it? Well, the first part of it is I like just fading the idea generally because I'm not going to go with that recommendation at all. Okay, that's one reason to potentially fade the idea. The second is when we gap up into this level, it was a perfect fire line. Now, the fire line is a proprietary study set, and I feel very fortunate to have been able to use it because it works so well. So, okay, I open up and I say, that's number two. That's why another reason that I think this could be a short. Okay, if you're not using the indicator, what other really helpful, simple thing can you add? Symmetry. Now, in this type of a chart, you look at this move and say, you know, what are you talking about? These swings have been so small. How do you correlate this type of a massive move to the tiny swings that this chart has been accustomed to seeing. Well, step back out into a bigger time frame. So for something like this, let's try, we'll get five years of weekly data. And once you have this, it's going to give you a very different perspective. Now, one thing I like being able to do here in Thinkorswim is just hide my studies. So you can go from having your technical analysis part to just having clean price action. And then what I want to do is come back and look at this in the big scheme of things and considering or, you know, just kind of acknowledging that this is the bearish trend that we are in. So it's obviously massive, but inside this otherwise bearish trend, what if previous rallies looked like? Well, this one isn't going to work because it's too small. This one isn't going to work because it's too big, and this one is the same. But if you look at it a bit more, you know, with um, a bit more intricately, you can look at the swings inside of the swings. So you'll have one here, you'll have another here, and then as you start to compare those price movements to what we're going through today, this is where you really start to see the value of this type of work. So from here, we have a nice swing low to swing high. When we project this move from here, okay, that one's a little bit too big. We come back here and look at this swing low to this swing high. And you start to find this type of work. Where, you know, I always got it from Carolyn, where it's like, you can't make this stuff up. And all it's saying, you say, okay, well, then why is that relevant? Well, because the stock had a given point rally, and then it saw three weeks of weakness. If we've seen the exact same type of rally here, What's to say we're not going to sit through another three weeks of weakness? So, if nothing else, hopefully that type of analysis will help you know situations where you shouldn't be buying into the move, at the very least. If you want to try and fade it, this type of work tends to be very helpful for it, and it's something else that I think you can add into your trading arsenal. So, I hope that helps. You have a great rest of your Thursday night, and we will see you at the next free video.